If you look under your bathroom sink, how many different makeup eggs do you see with old and somewhat used makeup? If I were a betting woman, I would actually bet quite a lot. That's right, but the problem is we just don't know what to do with it. We spent a lot of money on the product, used it, found something else we like better, and there it sits. So what should we be doing with our old makeup? Here with the answers is Shelly Goodstein, model over 40. She has tips for making that old makeup new again. Hi, Shelly. Good, Good to morning. see you. Always great to be here. Um, I'm really excited about this because I have Agreed. so much old makeup. <laughs> oh, so do I. I and still have stuff from college. Oh, wow. That is old makeup. It is I old know. makeup. <laughs> Are you saying I'm old? We're the same age. We're the same age. That's old makeup. You're not alone, is <laughs> right. all I could say. But it is a new year, and, you know, we're all making resolutions and organizing, so it's a good time to think about your makeup because, you know, whether you're a makeup junkie and have tons of things or a minimalist with just saving things for special occasions, you know, it's not like a fine wine. Makeup does have an expiration date, even though uh, cosmetic companies aren't required to put one on their cosmetics, mm -hmm. they do go bad, so. Okay, so makeup from college. Too old? How old is too Clearly old? Clearly too old. <laughs> <laughs> right, Anne? Yes. <laughs> ancient. That's ancient. And, um, but all of us do ancient. have that one thing we just can't part with. I mean, I've got it too, but um, I want to start with foundation and talk about what do you think is the uh, right amount of time to keep a foundation around? I have so many. A oh, year? You know what? I oh, already yay. gave it away. A year. <laughs> it's uh, 12 months. Okay. So that's good. Oh. Right. Now, if you have an oil-based foundation, you might get by with an 18 months. And these mineral foundations, I don't know if you're using those or not. I don't tend to like them because uh, they have these micas and reflective properties that aren't great for camera, but they look really beautiful in real life. And because they're made out of minerals, which are inorganic substances, they really don't have an expiration date because um, oh. they're actually crushed rocks. So there's no bacteria oh, that's going to sure. breed in there. But like if you've gotten t uh, makeup that maybe is too dark for your skin tone, mm. um, don't throw it away put it with a moisturizer and you have an instant bronzer. Or if you have something oh. um, that's maybe too heavy, uh, put it with your favorite moisturizer and you have a tinted, uh, tinted moisturizer that's lighter than your foundation. So, you know, you can kind of revamp these things before their expiration dates. What how, about, do you, oh, go ahead. how do you know when foundation is actually starting to get old? Well, it will separate. Um, oh. And with the oil-based ones, you can sometimes put them together, but it may separate, it may smell, um, it may change colors Ew, or consistency. Like smell? Yes, yes. <laughs> go back to your college makeup bag. <laughs> oh, God, I actually smell. tossed it. I did find it when I moved to Tucson, okay. and I was like, oh, man, you got to be kidding me. So I did toss it. <laughs> uh, what about makeup that's too light? Because Amanda knows I have one that I spent way too much money on, too light. Well, you, you know, the only thing with that, you're going to have to add some pigment somehow. So you're going to have to figure that one out right. on Pinterest, probably. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know me too well. Yeah, but you can combine and, and get the right colors yourself. And um, you might want to use it maybe under your eyes or to highlight because um, we have areas on the high points of our cheekbones, mm -hmm. maybe down your nose, that you might want to highlight. Okay, perfect. All right, let's move on. What do we have, mascara? Okay, mascara. And pretty much, you know, have you ever had a mascara problem where you've gotten an infection, a pink eye or something? Yeah. No, no. Have you? that sounds awful. Well, I don't know if it's from my mascara, but when you do get an infection or you break out from uh -huh. something that's too old, but um, an eye infection, no makeup for two weeks, no mascara, no eye makeup, and you're in glasses if you wear contacts. Wow. So, you know, the the answer on this is three to six months. Um, most of the time, our mascaras will dry out by then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if, especially if you if you pump your wand, you want to be twisting it. Um, but if you add just a few drops of Visine or saline, don't use water because there's no preservatives, you can kind of get that consistency not so dry again. And then with mascaras, you know, the secret really, the formulations, luxury drugstore band, kind of all the same, right. but the wands are different. So save your wands and uh, you can use yeah. the same mascara with different wands, you're going to get different effects. And I really like this big brush because it, it picks up a lot of product and gives you a lot of volume. Um, and if you want to lengthen, you're going to want a wand that is almost like a comb, a little skinnier, and that's going to extend your lashes. And you can also use these. You can put hairspray on and any fine hairs that are sticking up, you oh. can get them down. Or I saw you do that today. Do you put, do you no. put hairspray? Okay, I'm totally She's, wrong. Well, no. You know, some people do cover their grays with this. I'm not saying, but... No. Oh, you know what you saw no. me do today, and this was, it's creepy. I hate admitting this. I put... Uh, hairspray on my eyelash. That's what she just said. Oh, okay. That's what we're talking about. No, it's not weird. And you know, if it, it, we find all these tricks that work for us. And a lot of times if you clean these spoolies off and use them after you put on your mascara, you can take away those clumps or separate them better. So save those. Don't throw them away. And how do you save them? Do you just put them in a bag? 
Well, big. you need to just wash them off, and I'll, we'll get to that hopefully at the end of okay. the segment if we get through all this. So next up, let's talk about powders. And this is going to be your compacts, your uh, eyeshadows, and your blushes. But um, what do you think? How long? Oh, two years. Yeah, well, she's, she's uh, looking. <laughs> yeah. she, and a cheater. Yeah, well, like two to three years. I, I would have thought last time, honestly. Yeah. Okay. So that's surprising And to it's going to make a difference if you're cleaning your brushes, too. But, um, you know, here's what happens. We, um, we drop them, right? Oh, and right, right. battling with that right now. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and they're then, expensive. Right. And then what happens is every time you pick it up or put it back in your bag, it gets over everything. So I have an easy fix. All that you have to do is take your broken compact and um, use a spoon or a knife and cover it with saran wrap, um, plastic wrap, and just really pound it all out. You could even take it out of the container. Make sure it gets really uh, fine, finer than this. But once you do have it all like this, you're just gonna add a drop or two of alcohol and make sure you get like, not rubbing alcohol, but alcohol that's... Uh, vodka. Well, this is 99%. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what vodka is. And then you're just gonna smooth this down. You can use a knife. I probably need a little bit more. Um, I let it dry and it will it will set. I'm not showing such oh. a great job right now. I need more oh, time. Interesting. Yeah, but this will save it, and you can even transfer it into like those bead uh, jars or something smaller if you want to mm. um, make it more compact. That's interesting. Um, we have about a minute. Show us your last favorite tip here. Okay, so um, just want to talk about lipstick. Uh, two, maybe four years. This is probably what you still have. Um, we have we fall in love with these colors, right. and we don't want to get rid of them. Um, and you know, just the tip that I want to say is if you get a lipstick that's maybe too bright, think of using it as a cream blush. And um, that's an, another way to save it without having to throw it away. And you know, if you're at the office and you're going for dinner and you need a little pick-me-up, this is, you probably have a lipstick in mm -hmm. your bag. So everyone looks youthful with a little bit of a flush. Okay, I lied. We still have a minute left. Okay, let's talk about how yes, to rush, wash your brushes. I don't wash my brushes. Okay, easiest way and most inexpensive because you should be washing your brushes every week or two. Every week? Yeah, so just wow. use um, a uh, dishwashing detergent, make sure it's antibacterial. That's why you don't use baby shampoo because it's not antibacterial, it is gentle. And then add about um, three parts dishwashing soap and one part olive oil. And this works. Have I mean, you used this? yeah, this works like crazy. Yeah, I think because, you told me about it. Well, you, you'll dry out your brushes if you don't add a little bit of olive oil. And so this one's really dirty. And you're just going to smooth it in here. And you see that I'm getting oh, already, yeah. right? But then you're gonna work it in and you're gonna um, work it underneath some uh, water. And take a paper towel. Cute. Yeah, and you're gonna get this underneath um, a sink to really uh, make sure it gets clean. But then the secret is, don't dry it standing up because what happens is the water comes down in the shaft, it can get moldy, mm -hmm. it can make the glue loose on these bristles. So. You know, you might think of your own way, but I just took chopsticks and a hairband, put it in, and then just let it dry. You're so innovative. Yeah, and yeah, that, that, that is a great yeah. tip because this that work. works. Yeah, Shelly, thank you so much. Come you back bet. soon, okay? Yes. So informative, and I know. And don't cross contaminate. Too. You need to be doing this <laughs> absolutely. And to learn more tips from Shelly, you can go to her website, which is facethis.me.